going on everybody this is the pipe junkie here um, oh, it's been a while since I posted a video I had a lot of things going on in my life um, first off I'd like to start off with uh, what I'm smoking not a, not a pipe today that porch light is driving me crazy in the camera light but uh, today I'm smoking a quorum um, Maduro I believe it's a double Toro uh, cigar you can see I've just started smoking and I've not even had my first ash yet I just wanted to uh, hop on here and give y'all a little quote from uh, one of my recent favorite verses in the Bible. You can see, I, sorry I keep looking at that light. I'm trying to block it with my head so there's not so much you know, glare on the, the uh, video. But uh, this verse I want to talk about comes from the book of Psalms, Psalm 46 to be exact. And it kind of, this verse kind of hits me in a special way. It's verse 10. It's, uh, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Now, I really like the first part of that. Really give me encouragement. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. <laughs> That really comforted me in the recent, you know, points of stress in my life, you know. As adults, husbands, fathers, you know, we have stress. We all have stress. We all carry stress in some way. Most of us do. And uh, it's, it's really been really been on me a lot lately. And uh, I, was, I was reading my Bible at work. I have a little King James Travel Bible that I keep in my, in my work bag. And I was reading on my break, and I come across this verse. I was going through the Psalms, and I come across Psalm 46. And uh, that verse stood out to me. Be still and know that I am God. I believe, you know... <sighs> I'm sorry, that light is driving me absolutely crazy. Let's do this. No, that ain't going to work either. Just had to block it with my head. There we go. Um, God knows just what we need in, in our hour of need. He knows exactly what we need to encourage us to keep moving and keep going. Keep fighting the good fight. I don't know how many of you are here are Christian, but I, I do happen to be of the Christian faith, Baptist specifically. Um... And, you know, when, when we're tempted to stop, when we're tempted to give in, throw in the towel, like I, I know that feeling. I have been there a few times in my life where I just, I just wanted, just wanted to just give up. Just, it, it's not, it's not worth the fight. Just stop everything and just give up. It's a good cigar. Um. There's always something we can come across. We can find God's put God put something in our path to keep us going. Whether it be words of encouragement, whether it be a special person in our life to remind us why we're fighting. In my case, my children uh, and my wife. You know, but th that verse really spoke out to me. Be still and know that I am God. Those. For such simple words and such a simple sentence, such a simple statement, it, is, it holds so much power. There is so much power in that statement if you stop and think about it. You could be frantic, stressed out, running everywhere, doing everything, trying to help everybody and trying to make everyone happy. And not sure what's going what's gonna to happen. You could be stressed out about a certain event in your life or something that has happened that is, is causing you panic and God just comes in and says be still 
stop. I am God. I will carry you through this. I can handle your problems. I can help you fix your problems. I can help you carry that load. And that is just such a powerful statement from the creator of the universe to come to me specifically and say, be still and know that I am God. Whew. Really gets the emotions high. You know, the second part of that, er that verse, you know, says, I will be exalted among the heathen. Even those who don't worship me will know who I am. That's what I believe what that verse says. So that's how powerful he is, that even those, even non-Christians, those who do not believe in God, do not practice the Christian faith, will know who God is. I believe is what that verse is saying. Be exalted in the earth. Everywhere you look, you know, there, there's a lot of people, and the, the, the evolution, the theory of evolution is, is a very strongly uh, supported and strongly believed theory in the world today. That is, that is the, the main running belief is in the, the theory of evolution and how, you know, the universe came to be. And I just, you just think about it. Such complexity as we see around us. The human body is, like, immensely complex. There's so many moving parts, so many different things functioning all at once. My belief is, how can that be a result of an accident? How can we be the result of two particles colliding, causing an explosion and everything coming from that? How, that, that doesn't make any sense. You can't have you can't cre you can't make something from nothing. I'm not trying to preach here. I'm just you know sharing my beliefs. If you, if you disagree with me, that's fine. I'll still be your friend. And I'll still talk to you. You know I I work with a Norse pagan and a uh, a Celtic whatever pagan I guess. Uh, I work with a, a lot of different people. Not all of them are Christian. You know it's fine. I, I'm friends with them. I don't. I don't care. I don't discriminate. You are who you are. You believe what you believe. But uh, m my belief on the matter is, you know, for the world to be so complex, what is easier to believe? That it came from a point of destruction? You know, a point of collision between two worlds or two planets or, or stars or, or however the theory goes. I'm not real sure. I'm not real read, well read on it. Or is it the result of an of a, of a, uh, an all-knowing, all-powerful, omnipotent being? You know, we call him God. Could be anybody. But we know him as God, Yahweh, master of the universe, creator of the universe. Something to think about. Anyway, that's a little off topic. I just wanted to share with everybody about that one verse that stood out to me. And get on here and, you know, see how everybody's doing. Say, hey, all you guys, and sorry I've been away for so long. It's been a pretty chaotic last couple of years. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Psalm 4610, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Pretty pretty dang powerful statement. So simple yet so powerful. But uh, that's my thoughts on the matter. I'm not going to ramble on, rattle on about, you know. Whatever you happen to be smoking on this fine September afternoon. Enjoy it. I hope you really enjoy it. I'm really enjoying this this cigar. For it to be a you know a four dollar cigar, it's not bad. It's really good. But uh, anyway, y'all be safe. God bless America. Pipe junkie out.